You do, Brian Phillips. We're gonna open a box. Look at this. What is this? It's not an airplane. It's gyro hover shoes. Is that a question? <laughs> um, not to be outdone by Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> we won't review anything, but this is something that, uh, oh, okay, so there's interesting, there's a letter from them. I'm not it's sure if that is. Wedding invitation? It is, yeah, it's a wedding invitation. It's a letter from Gyro. Okay, yes, it looks like uh, something about basically suggesting that we tell our friends about the product we bought. It comes with this wrench, it comes with a charger. So in the past on Brian Phillips RC, we reviewed a few items to much uproar from the audience. <laughs> Positive uproar. I was gonna say, you should have specified. <laughs> okay, so this, this charger is a splitter cable too. Okay, so it comes with two drum connectors and it's got an AC adapter. Oh man, 29.4 volts at 1.5 amps is the output. That's, uh, that's a lot of power, so that's pretty good. Um, I do actually really like that this has two connectors on it. It's a little bit tempting to possibly try to charge a few of other devices because I like that it's one connector. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this up and just show you what we got in here. Okay, it looks like we've got uh, uh, some sort of a air valve. That's mm -hmm. weird. That's also weird. Okay, that's weird too. Trying to figure out, oh, that's like a, what? Is this an air gauge? Like what is going on here? What is this thing for? This is, this is what you would use to hook up an air hose. I'm still trying to figure this out. Look, there's another one. See this? It's like a That's quick release for air, for airlines. Looks like they only go to possibly certain match. I don't know. I don't even understand why that's in there right now. And then we, we got this pipe too, so. Not the wings bar? Definitely not. Okay, there's, there's what we're going for. These are hover shoes. So you're probably wondering to yourself, Brian, what the heck? That is not an airplane. Oh, good lordy lord. Feel how heavy that is. Oh, well, I don't drop, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's really wow. heavy. Um, okay, so this, this, this is a shoe that you put on, sort of, I guess, and then it runs and there's a plug. I assume, oh, I wonder if this thing goes together can, like that because you can yeah, run them can together. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so th this is just a plug. It's a very soft neoprene sort of material. Okay, and then over here is the charging jack. Okay, so we're obviously gonna have to charge these and then a power button, which I don't even wanna press yet because I'm afraid it's gonna run me over. <laughs> and then this is uh, rubber and it looks like it was peeling back. Always wear shoes, a helmet, and appropriate safety gear, such as knee and elbow pads. Okay, so oh. we're not gonna do any of those so, things. Yeah. Well, I actually, we do, I, could, I could wear my helmet. And shoes. I'll wear shoes. Okay. Flip flops. That's probably, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I may be slightly overweight for this product too. And if that's the case, then we'll, we'll go to the uh, next common denominator. One we'll of our kids, I hope. <laughs> Maybe. So this is uh, same thing, got a plug here. This, this is really heavy, guys. It's gotta be like probably 15 pounds, I wonder. No, it can't be 15 pounds. But it's like seven or eight pounds. It's less than 11, you could weigh them on the kitchen. The capacity is two amp hours for the battery, 250 watt motor, whoa. 50.54 watt hours. That is crazy. Okay, so these things, evidently you just like put them you stand on it and then it just like drives you around and there's no chance you could fall and die. What can go wrong? In a fireball. Are there like directions? On how to fall? <laughs> no, I think I can figure that part out on my own. <laughs> Our wedding invitation's over here now. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so there are, there are an instruction user's okay. manual here. Okay, hover shoes. Okay, riding safety, item number one. 
packing list diagram char charging. Okay, enjoy the ride. Respect pedestrians, okay. Mainframe times two. Okay, it looks like before riding, there are safety risks. Whenever your hover shoes are powered on, they must stay on the ground to avoid injury. Do not touch the wheel. Oh, so you have to be able to, you have to pick them up like this in case the wheel's spinning. That makes sense. I don't even know how this is going to work. Uh, the rider must weigh between 22 and 220 pounds. Okay. Ask a friend to assist you on your first ride. Go to a large open area. <laughs> you guys can imagine oh how my. this is going to go. Uh, Esteban come over. What the heck? Somebody marked it with a pen. Why does it look like they're in love? Whoa. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> what the heck happened here? Learning more. Oh, boy. Do not traverse bumps or uneven terrain. Why is that guy so huge? <laughs> Maybe he's got a rear controlled car. Don't go through water, no more than 10 degrees, or you may dance. Be a ballerina. Whoa, no stairs? You're kidding me. Whoa, watch your head while going through doorways, no high heels. Oh, dang it. So really it's um, calibration. When in balance mode, if your hover shoes move forward or backward on its own on flat ground, it needs to be calibrated. Put it upside down. Place the hover shoe upside down on the flat ground, power it off. Press the power button for five seconds till you hear it beep three times. This will complete calibration. Okay. Alarms, overheating. Riding for an extended period of time could increase the internal temperature of your hover shoes in excess of 122 degrees Fahrenheit. It'd be nice if it was like icy out. Mm. Simply step off the hover shoes power them off and give them time to cool down uh, back to normal operating. Other alarms, for any other alarms, try resetting your shoes. Stubborn dirt can be scrubbed with a toothbrush and toothpaste. Wow, Maybe not, the one, you normally not the one you normally use. use. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, uh, yeah, the instruction, I have no clue what this is for, or unless this, is this, does this go like that? Oh, buddy. I figured it out. This goes like that. This goes like that. That is one weird setup. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is just like a, a technique used to make it a little easier to ride. See this? This goes in like this. Those are totally air valve or air checks for airlines. And then this. But see, that doesn't quite go in. Doesn't seem to go in, yeah. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe I gotta really wail on it. Oh, yeah, you just gotta push hard. Okay, so that's gonna connect the two shoes together. So I don't know if that's like a safety feature or. I think it's just an option for like learning, maybe. They didn't show it in the learning manual. They just said, have somebody help you. Oh. Well. Okay, so let's try this. Now we just stick that doohickey into this doohickey like that. That is very weird. Okay, well, uh, that's one way of doing it. So really, I mean, this is gonna be a simple unbox. So now what we need to do is just plug it into an AC outlet. And uh, why don't we use, oh, good Lord, that's heavy. You're probably not supposed to do this, so don't do that. That's like way heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so let's go over to this outlet so you guys can see what the light does. This thing feels substantial, which is nice. Sometimes the chargers we get with uh, some of the Chinese branded stuff, uh, the adapter is uh, mysteriously light, mm -hmm. meaning it's probably not quite right. Did it just go paper. red? Yep, it's not right, okay. right, but it did. And then this one, oh, can you even do it with that? Ooh, when they're hooked when together. When they're connected together, it's just a little bit too wide. Okay. It is nice that you can charge them both. Yeah, at the same, same time. time. Super nice. Okay, so nothing really changed. Yeah. It just stayed red. red. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, so now we wait and worry. We need to make sure you're... 
life insurance, life insurance is up to date. Up to date. Well, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Okay, we'll be right back. YouTube, we're back. <laughs> a lot's happened since we started our video. <laughs> I wanted to tell you one thing too. When you charge these things, oh, this charger gets hot. Yes. So, might want to make sure you're close by uh, because yeah, that's yeah, it's warm. that's warm. Yeah. So you'll want to make sure that you don't like plug that in in some like rat's nest behind your TV and mm -hmm. start a fire because next to your bed or something. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till you're done smoking and then do this. Yes. Just kidding. Okay. So we're gonna plug the hole. We're gonna plug the hole. I'm gonna leave this broad adapter in here, I guess. And how do we tell what direction is forward? I don't know. That's a good question. How do you even turn it on? There's a power button. Okay. Oh, oh amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it down. And then remember, you're not supposed to put your fingers or anything you don't want to get ripped off. I don't know if there, oh, there's an arrow that goes both ways. Maybe. So I kind of want to see how this works. Oh, wow, that's weird. That is so weird. Well, there's Look. lights on the oh, wheels. That is so weird. <laughs> what the heck? Look at this. <laughs> okay, upside down. Okay, turn it off. One, two, three, four, five. Something or another, six. How long are you supposed to hold it? I thought it was like five or something. I don't know, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one back on the ground and I'm just gonna turn it on and leave it alone. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm supposed to be for this. You're supposed to be helping me. Look at this, that's so cool. Okay, so it obviously knows you've picked it up. So I turned it off and I'm gonna point those things toward themselves. Okay, turn okay. it back on and then leave it. Now, the camera crew, do you wanna try this first? Um, no. <sighs> really? You can try it first. You want me to try it first? Yes. But I'm injured. You're better at embarrassing yourself. Oh boy, oh boy. Wow, that's, did I just do a burnout? <laughs> oh, I did, look, show the people. I did a burnout. Legit, look. Oh geez. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay. I think somebody suggested we should test this first. I think it may have been you. <laughs> Are we gonna go with that Oh, by the yet? way, the tool that comes with it is too small for this. So if you plan on using that, oh. uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. So you'll have to use your own crescent wrench or proper sized wrench. In my case, I'm gonna use a sizable wrench like this and just kind of tighten that in. Okay. And it goes in without any trouble at all. But I just feel more comfortable if this is all the way in instead of having it in there like a couple of threads worth. Oh. Do you so think when you pick this up, if you put it upside down, it knows better. So you can turn it off with just a momentary push button press. Do you think they'll work on carpet? Probably. That maybe be better to try them. You mean like when I fall, I could have something to cushion my mm -hmm. death fall? Yes. Is that really what you want? Okay, that one didn't go in as far for some reason. Well, you already did that one a little bit. I did? Yeah. Well, I'm talking about the depth. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. So this is, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This thing, it goes on there and you can torque them on both sides. Okay, now I don't know if that makes it easier or harder, but I am quite nervous to do this. I think we should probably We're gonna try it try off camera. It. We're cheating this Sorry. time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're outside. Sorry about the wind. We just installed this cool wind sock just for dramatic effect. <laughs> so I put the little stick thing in there so it should act like a regular hoverboard, um, which I've never done. So if I fall and you laugh, 
that's fine because I can't hear you. Um, this is just a really weird and cool thing. When you first turn it on, that is so weird. It just like balances itself. It's very cool. But also it's quite scary because they get to going and they get to going. And once they start leaning, then they lean. So I think the objective is when you're first learning, you're supposed to put a foot on there and then practice like going forward and backward. And what you do is you just kind of bear your weight on it. And as you get used to it and comfortable with it, then you can step on. That's the theory, but you see how easy it'll get away from you if you get too aggressive with it, okay? So that rod is allowed to pivot like this, okay? So then you just take, off, take your foot off and then it chases you like a demon possessed creature. <laughs> Leave me alone, stop, stop. See, it's yeah. just, it takes almost no input to actually make the thing move. And so for that reason, if you're a big pansy or you're over the age of 35 years old, <laughs> and you know you're smart and you're still alive then things like this normally don't come into your life <laughs> as you can see the demons have see they're stopped. doing a great job demonstrating it's really cool so now my camera crew and i have been practicing this inside in our super like huge spacious spot between the island and the table <laughs> and uh come back here so you'll note that it beeped just then it was a warning so that's the perfect, if you get it into that position, that's how you normally want to launch. It's when it's spinning. It's spinning. But it's just kind of incredible how subtle the change is. Like, look, I'm like I'm not even really applying pressure. Yeah. I mean, it's just like a nothing. And On, there is no front or back. No, because they go both directions. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how you get on. Yep. And so I think for me, it's just one of these things where it's like you have to overcome your fear slash have a reason to want to do it <laughs> so in this case we're both chickening out big time slash too old for slash this. too old for this so <laughs> i'm wondering if if i could just get a walker <laughs> that it would make me less scared to start so that's what i'm going to try next so now the important part for us has been you have to know when to say when <laughs> to get a broom <laughs> so we we got a broom and what you're going to do is you'll have a friend help you if your friend isn't holding a camera, mm -hmm. laughing and pointing. I'm not pointing. So what you can do is once you balance your weight, you're at the discretion of the motors. But once you're on it, then you should be under control. So that's like the transition, that's when it's like scary. Yeah. Cause like, you see what I'm doing? I'm bearing weight on this pole and naturally your ankle wants to kind of lean a little bit one way or the other. So part of the ticket for me is to just get my foot in the center of it. Yeah. So my pivot goes forward and backward the way I expect. But my concern is if you get off, then it's like, it's going to like scoot down into the ditch. And if that does, it'll make for a good video. That's true. But I don't want to die today. Not doing this. If I'm going to die doing something, it's going to be more deadly and more exciting to watch than this. Okay. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to try to balance. And they say to use good balance, but I just don't know that I have that thing. Do I? I think we need someone under the age of 20. 400? Oh, that's <laughs> no, a, how old I feel right you now. fall into that category. Whoa. See, that's the thing. You get on there and you're like, you can't hold still. I'm getting another broom. I'll be right back. Try. <laughs> Fine. Okay, so the camera crew is more brave than I. And I don't she didn't know sprain her true. ankle two, two weeks ago. That's, I did not. That's true. So this the sticks in there too, hon. So, well, that's true. I have like been on them. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> It's a lot harder. Whoa, why are you going in circles? See, guys, it is so subtle. It is so but subtle. But see, look. Okay, so my left foot isn't centered. So then it's yeah, like... it's like, how do you center it? Okay, yeah, so like I'm going to stand here and try to, like, give you a shoulder okay. to stand on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to slowly yeah, let you go you away might. from me. Okay. Just push off. I think I need to put the broom down because I'm going to... Okay, that's fine. Here. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I am way too old for this. This is what, this is what old people should not do. <laughs> yeah. Old people don't get these things. Young people get them for old people that you love for extra comic relief <laughs> in your life. Hey, where's your, uh, where's the ramp at camera crew? <laughs> don't make me laugh because then it makes me wobble. Hey, um, try to go opposite feet direction so you go in a circle. And if you get oh sick, goodness. 
If you if you need to spew, just spew in this <laughs> cup. Here. Oh, never mind. This is probably a terrible example of how to do this. So guys, if you're wanting to get one of these for yourself and you're like, geez, these people are terrible at this, you would be correct. <laughs> Please prove us wrong. But what I can definitely say is we have a pretty good sized concrete pads, very smooth. And yeah, if it's, you it will burn out on your hardwood floor in yeah. your house. Which if is, you don't have like a big area like this, go to a park with like a basketball court or something. Yeah, that would be a basketball court would probably be big enough to yeah. practice. You look like you're getting the hang of it though. I mean, you're doing a lot better than you were. Well, I haven't fallen off yet, so that'll be super fun. I just don't want to go too fast, so I'm scared to like. No, I know because the thing will cook. Yeah. And it's like you don't think it's that you don't think it's that fast, but it kind of is. And it's like so subtle. Okay, I there wish there was going. a sensitivity adjustment, but we haven't read any of the sort. See the new windsock, guys? Amazing. <laughs> the bumps are throwing me off. Oh, really? Is that this what it is? is? Ridiculous. Just try going forward. See if you get the feel. Like, if it goes too fast, just jump off in the, and go into the grass. Well, I know. Because, like, or do you want to just practice, like, jumping off? Oh, I'll jump off. Because if it goes flying off and hits the gas tank and blows up the house, that would make a really exciting video. Just accept our... Our house and family. Kids in there. Well, I mean, the gas tank's way out there. I mean, you can have one small ex explosion per hundreds of feet. You look like you're getting tired. No, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out how to like go forward without going super Just fast. Just think about walking backward, kid. Does that work? Think about walking think backwards. Think about like lean backward, like... Cause I agree. I feel like if you, like if you lean back, it's so touchy that you feel like it'll shoot out from under you. I can tell you turning is actually easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Turn toward I me. I think. See if you can do it. I oh, think wow. it would be a lot harder to turn, to learn, turn, to learn, learn to turn. If you, if didn't, you didn't have, have stick. that stick thing in the middle. Yeah. Cause then you would have independent control of each foot. Yeah. Then it's like ice skating. Mm -hmm. And then you have to be able to like swizzle your feet. Swizzle? Well, that's what it is in ice skating. I've never done a hoverboard. <laughs> Swizzling? I took ice skating lessons when I was a kid. Really? Before I knew you. Did you How'd that go that? for you? Huh? Huh? You didn't know that? No, I mean, how did it go? Do you do it anymore? Do yeah, a swizzle. Yeah, I was in the Olympics. Yeah, in the Olympics. Uh-oh, uh-oh, she's getting close what? to the perimeter. No, but I can turn. Come on, you're making this look so exciting. I know I would be barely moving too. Guys, it's it's hey, palpable. I, it's palpably scary it when is, you first get it on is. them. It is when you're old and if you fall, you're gonna break something. It's like when you get old, there's really kind of like almost nothing good about <laughs> like, it. Why am I doing it's this? It's like when I you're young, you wanna get old. And when you're old, you realize you're an you idiot. You don't when need you're a hoverboard young. or hover shoes. So, but hey, hover shoes, this is a great item camera crew what are you it's, talking about they're actually is this really by gyro 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 hover shoes like think of the roar of a lion plus jai so like if the lion was jai <laughs> okay come on over here okay i want to see you get hey, this mount i did it who's I, hey listen i'm i'm i would be doing it except that i sprained my ankles yeah sure and i'm also 100 pounds over the weight limit uh more than no right? no 220 is a weight limit oh okay I'm not okay that, hold on not no weird. okay okay so i can't i literally can't help you i know if i grab your hand you're gonna pull toward me but so you, you did a great job okay now see now look now the demons come back right that is so but when weird. you go when you okay. get on what do you think? you have to get your second foot like there's a camera over here sorry i'm alone. I don't want to fall you have to get your second foot centered like right away i just want to get the windsock in the background okay thanks can you go so that my hair is like not blowing in my face it's not very calm out here which is part of the thing yeah i mean like it's it doesn't seem like it but literally the wind blowing against your body you have to then counter it yeah okay see that was better you're doing so good i'm so proud of you <laughs> way to go learning a new skill in front of the world to laugh at yes Hey, you haven't even fallen once. It's not a very exciting video. I'm sorry. Hey, can you like at least like go to the edge of the sidewalk and like launch yourself a few feet? Can I? I'm just come I'm over here. Backwards. Are you trying to go backward or are you trying yeah, to do like well, a little jive there? No, I was trying to go backwards. Whoa. But when you go when you go slow, it like rocks back and forth a little bit. 
Okay, what did you want me to do? I want you to launch forward safely into the grass. And then just jump off? Well, no, I, I want to like see, right. like, how fast can you kind of, like, jump off without getting hurt? Hey, that wasn't too bad. You see, just, like, it just, off. I think it, it, it's just about confidence, yeah. right? Of which I have none in this case. So you have to turn them off. Yep, every time it goes to the when alarm. When it goes to that like alarm so setting. So you press that power button, which it's easy to get to, but it's in a weird spot when they're hooked together. Yeah. Because one's on one side, one's on the other. And then you just like tip them up. Yeah, okay, I'll try. Nope, that one's off, this this one here. This one's off? Now, what was the percentages? The, the power level is supposed go. to be presented, I think on the LEDs. Oh, see. and then what we didn't show you yet is that there's LED lights on the, on the sides. Which to me is kind of like... I mean, if you were a kid though. I mean, if you were a kid, why would you be buying an awesome thing like this that kids can do safely and not die? Our kids will like this. No, they'll what? love it. Yeah. At least but the thing is love. like, we always, you know, it'd be fun. Do it'd be know? it'd be like a, a tug of tug of war. <laughs> to do it together. To do it together, right? See, do I almost feel me, like... Do you want me to stand by you so you can hold on to my shoulder while you get on? That is the scariest part the first time. Getting on? Yeah. Really? That's yeah. it? And then it's not scary? Well, I'm just going to use the broom like a witch. Can I just use a broom? Yeah. I mean, I'm only... You just have to commit to it. Okay. So just commit to doing something I'm scared to do. Yeah. That's probably that dangerous. Might kill and you're me. going to get hurt because you're... Well, I mean... Too old and over the weight limit. It reminds me of other things I've done in my life. Like virtually everything. It's so weird. Your foot's not centered. See, it's just I get to that oscillation and it's like, I no! I don't want you to get hurt. No, I don't want to get hurt either, but it's kind of fun to watch me fail. So let's at least try this. I, I, I so badly want it to be easy, but it's like, it's so sensitive. It's not. It should be. Our kids will just like step on it and go. They'll be like, what was the problem, yeah, guys? Yeah, be like, why was this a big deal? It's like weirdly not hard to get off of. I thought it would be hard, but it just like you just get off. But getting on is a totally different story. Yeah. See, look how sensitive that is. I'm touching I it know. with bristles, the bristles of the brush, and it's still s strong. So anybody who's driven or ridden on a hoverboard, I also feel like a lot of hoverboards have a lower footprint. So your center of gravity is lower. Oh. See, I'm just like chicken. I'm scared. So we're gonna practice this a few more minutes off camera so that the injuries aren't as obvious. Yeah, go ahead. Okay guys, so I think we were talking about this off camera. Partially, I sprained my ankle, my right ankle, and my left ankle, but mostly my right ankle was a lot worse. Yeah. On that bad landing here. A couple weekends couple ago. Couple weeks ago. Oh wait, is that three weeks ago now? Camera I think group? it'll be three weeks tomorrow. It'll be three weeks tomorrow. So I'm still, I've been walking around kind of like a moron and uh, you know, like an injured moron that was landing and hurt himself. Yeah. So I wonder if that's part of it. The other thing is I'm heavy, heavier than I'm supposed to be for this product. You are, yeah. So I wonder if that makes for the sensitivity factor being higher. If I were lower down, I wonder if it'd be easier. You're doing like way faster Yeah, because I'm before. definitely like, quite a bit shorter than you yeah that's gotta play a, a part i'm almost five eight and i am like well within the weight limit she is Just within the weight that. limit our cat's over there which colby's, one colby's around the corner of the house let's see her i just she just meowed at me yes come here hi colby what's oh. your problem Colby chooses to be antisocial and live in our hay pile. Yes. But that's okay. We got them to eat cat or to eat mice, and that's what she's doing. Let's see if she'll let me say hi. Come here. Are you okay? Yeah? Are you just chilly? Come here, little lion. Oh, so cute. She's so small. Oh, she's so nice. Hi, Colby. I'm going to take you with me. Ow. Okay, she's down there now. 
So as the camera crew continues to persist in this effort, I'm gonna leave you with this thought. If you want gyro shoes, I'd highly recommend putting in the pipe in between to practice yeah. with. I think it's gonna help give you a better chance at success. I would also highly recommend that you don't do it after you have an injury and then watch out for the crazy cats. But I feel like they're really like heavy duty and well made. Yep. yep. Like if you're looking for a gift for your kids or someone under the age of 35. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, they're like legitimately heavy. Yeah. She's Holy. scared. She's do you see her, do you see her tails all puffed yeah. up? She's like, what's wrong with my mother, adoptive mother? Well, actually, are we adoptive parents of cats? Yes. Okay. Whoop. Hey, see, you did good. You didn't die nope, at all. You just have to jump off. Yeah, you just have to commit to the, the, the dismount. Like turning is weird, turning is weird, but they're so stinking sensitive. Okay, so Whew. if you're old like us <laughs> and we are old, then the gyro shoes <laughs> are probably a little bit dangerous, but you can do it, I promise. You can, if I can do it, you can do it. If you're not over the weight limit, like I am significantly, like by many percentage points, <laughs> then I think you can probably do it. And to be honest, I just think it's a fun thing. It's definitely not gonna be quite as deadly as other things that we try. You're just into being out here with us she right is. now. Oh, she's so cute. Hi, Colby. I think it's definitely easier to start on your dominant foot too. Yeah, dominant foot. And then step up with your non-dominant foot. But you're doing so good getting on there. Wish I would. Well, I get on there and I get really nervous and just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then I think you're, it's, they're so sensitive and you're just too, like, it's too much. Yeah. Well, I wonder what it's going to be like after a couple more weeks, like when the uh, ankles are back to more right. or less 100%. Because I'm not exactly doing jumping jacks right now. And I don't know how long they'll take, to, like how long a charge will last and stuff, but like we won't do it till they're dead. But Now, do you want to try it with the stick taken out the middle for a second and see if you can handle it? Uh, we could. Okay, we're going to reset and then come back with that. Well, let's just show the people how it goes. It's not Okay, hard. here, I'll let you take this here. stick out okay. and I'll film for a second. They do really get away from you. It's kind of crazy. Upside you're down? Gonna, yeah. This thing is heavy. It's surprisingly heavy. Okay, so push this in toward the center and then it just comes right out, just like an air chuck. Okay, in and out. Okay, and then these are handles, carrying handles, mm -hmm. which I do think is kind of an awkward way of carrying it. Um, so I'm gonna lay this down and it's just so weird. It almost looks like otherworldly because it just like goes. goes. It's very strange, I think. Because it's like, why are you doing that? Like, how is that even possible? Yeah. So put it down and then I'll give you the camera. Whoops. Oh boy. See that? Burn out. Yeah. Okay. Off, on, tip it level. Tip it up. Balance mode. Okay. I don't want to film and write at the same time. Okay. Just say no to filming and writing at the same time. Yeah. This and is definitely going to be... Harder. Way harder just to get on. Do you want the stick thing? Maybe. Here. Just uh, use that to brace yourself. You would have to like be next to like a rail or something. There you go. I think you've got it though. Like you know what you're doing. Okay. Here, take this. Okay. Then just I keep going. Like just keep going. I don't want to take it away from you. It's hard to get your feet like going in the right direction together in a normal standing position. Now remember, okay. if you get lost, just jump off. Yeah. It's weird because your body's like, don't jump off. Right. But then you're like, I have to jump off. And then like, which foot do you lead with? Cause you know, it's gonna take that other half of your body out. I'm walking at a pretty brisk pace here. I would say, make sure you get your turn in before you hit the edge there. Yeah. I would say if you're learning, like definitely put the stick thing in. That seems to then be Then you just don't have to, to think help. about 
keeping your feet together and pointed and pointed and then like like i'm not in super amazing shape so i'm really thinking about like i have to keep my feet to keep my legs together well the other thing too is it's actually a little easier to turn oh really mm -hmm, well and you can go in a uh you know you can go in a circle you can go in a pretty tight circle probably yeah you can go not right sure. right in a circle on itself right mm -hmm, but you see how they're getting much. separated from one another yep so I think at a certain point with enough practice, you end up just your brain takes over and then it just looks like a thing. Yeah. Which and is I pretty cool. See. I'm uh, surprised how good you're doing. Yeah, me too. Because like I know too. that we're not exactly <laughs> this is not the really... most athletically inclined folks. Nope, not at all. Well, you're doing a good job. You're leaning. I think they can go like seven miles an Turn hour. Turn a little bit so you don't get so close to the wall. It's made of brick. Okay. And I have my invisible helmet on. You do? It's well, a helmet of hair. Yes. It'd probably protect me a little bit. Sorry, the cat's been, the cat has been living in our hay pile. And I love it when she comes back home after being gone for she's weeks. She's like one of our favorites. I know, she's like the nicest, but our her sister Super hates her, her because she had kittens first by like five days and so she was the one yes. that the sister hated because somebody got her pregnant first that would be their brother yep. okay they probably had enough veritable like, jerry springer episode probably had enough laughing at my terrible ability to i don't know you did pretty good I think. Shoes. <laughs> you want to step off and show them how easy it is now you can also just like go all the way forward and it would like it would alarm out See, look at that. That's scary, isn't when it? When you lean back, because it goes fast. But yeah. you just have to commit to like get your get foot off. off. It's just so weird. And then you got to get your feet centered when you get on there. Okay, so let's hold this for a second. Okay. Okay, camera crew, you got that? Oh, sure. Okay, so basically, gyroar. That is so weird. And this thing is heavy and high quality and legit. It's just not what i expected and i didn't know what to expect because we have reviewed a lot of weird stuff on this channel but i gotta say i think with this in tandem with other devices that you could hook onto it to make like little scooters and zero turn devices could be super cool too yeah and then it would be better for the old like us yes the old people like us but anyway gyroar check it out video um Videos here on Brian Phillips RC, you never know what you're gonna get, but you do know that in the video description below, there's gonna be a link that you can use to purchase one of these for your very own. If you like it, definitely check out the link. You can see more details about this product. And obviously we think it's pretty cool. We've reviewed a couple of our electric things you can see over there, right there. Mm -hmm. That's an electric oh. scooter we reviewed. We did an electric bike. We still use both, very good. Yep. Very happy with them. I use that thing almost every time I go out to do anything and I love it. Now, if I can get doing these, then I can just be lazy all the time and just let motors drive me everywhere. <laughs> but I wouldn't hold your breath on that because I'm a little bit scared at the moment that I am too big for this. So guys, really cool product. Uh, thanks to Gyro for sending these out for review. I'm not really sure that you're ever gonna see me doing this. But if you're under the 220 pound weight limit, it's definitely neat. And if you've ever done a hoverboard, I think you're gonna be a little bit more inclined. Also, this doesn't have to be installed if you didn't already notice that from the unbox part, which is coming next. Stay tuned. The unbox is short and simple, but also keep the charger in a safe spot. We noticed our charger was pretty warm when we were charging this thing. So they are big batteries and they have a lot of wattage coming out. So just be aware. When you charge, put it on a hard surface, keep it in a safe spot, and don't charge it unattended uh, for safety purposes. So guys, thanks for watching here on Brian Phillips RC. So much more to come. Okay, so this is our oldest son, Andrew. What do you think, Andrew? You've been doing it for 10 seconds and almost immediately got it. Yep. How does that make you feel since you can do it and almost immediately and the old people, it took like 30 minutes to get even moving. <laughs> does that make you feel like... Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. the bonds, right? Well, 
You can take oh. that stick out and then your feet can be independent too. What? Oh. Okay, watch out for brick walls. He's putting the stick down. Okay. Yeah, we gave him lots of coaching and then he just like stepped on and went. So, of Yeah, course. and that's like about as good as <laughs> I was doing the whole time. So anyway, if you're a kid, I think you're probably going to enjoy the uh, Gyro shoes. Gyro shoes. What are these? Gyro is, shoes. Is there a model number? There's two different colors, but I think it's all the same model number. There's These have like blue accents and then they have some with gray accents. But they all have the lights on the wheel spokes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the wheels are almost solid aluminum. Yeah. What? Yeah. And then they have rubber on, on the actual outside. So it's really fun. I liked it. It was funner once I kind of got off camera and played with it a little bit. Yeah, it's a little intimidating to like learn to do it on camera. Yeah, the worst part is getting on them. Mm -hmm. And then once you're on them, it's kind of like, well, this isn't so bad. But I can definitely say without that stick, it'd be hard. You're done? Okay, go out to the middle where you have lots of room and just dismount one foot at a time and just try. And if it runs away, just let it run away. It'll time out. So just stop and then step off. Just step off. It's weird. Step toward the, towards your other foot. So like, this one here. like move one foot toward the other foot and step into the middle. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see? see, now tap it so it doesn't go away. You can like tilt it. There up, you go. Right? Good job. Yeah. Okay, so then should I try it with, with, the, with the broom? See, my broom is, is like my comfort blanket here. <laughs> so I like blanket. the broom because then I can relieve the pressure as I get on. Well, and my concern, like you've caught yourself a couple times with it. And if you didn't, I don't want you to jump off and then like hurt your ankle. Hurt my ankle worse. Yeah. Which I think is part of the reason that you've been a little nervous about it. Well, and the thing is like, when you kind of get to moving, it's a little bit, it's a little bit scary, but it's not hard to get off. It's just, right. you feel like you can't, but then you just do it and it's not a big deal. Yeah. So I would say... For anybody thinking about getting this thing, it is very fun. It's kind of a challenge, especially if you're a seasoned veteran like us. Yeah. Kids, it would be great. Kids, totally. And if you've got cats want to eat your grass. That's a different cat. They that's a different cat. That's ago. the one that hates the other one. Yeah. All right, guys, that's all you get. Stay tuned. Okay. Shh. He figured it out. What are you doing? Are he you used, filming your husband? He uses the broom. I use the broom. It's actually helping a lot. And every time I hit a weird bump, it's like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna die, except I don't. And so like, I've been noticing that there's just like a certain point when you're kind of like rolling around that you're like, hey, this is okay. I don't have to think about it. And if you kind of bend your knees a little bit, it helps a little bit. Yeah. You got more pivot point on your, on your ankles. And then, uh, like this bump is pretty nasty here. So I'm trying to get this set up to where I can go like full on and then like legit sweep with it <laughs> because I don't want to have to actually do it sweep. manually. It's, woo, woo. But then as you can see, that wasn't too bad. No. I didn't realize you were gonna film me again. Oh, well. Here, I'm gonna show the people getting on at least. Okay. See, it's not too bad. It's just, you just have to not be a complete chicken. And after a few minutes, you do have to kind of tense up your, your leg muscles a lot yeah. to be able to get that level of finite control. But then once you have it, it's pretty good. It feels, it feels like weirdly fun once you start rolling around though. Like it's, it reminds me when we did the, uh, when we did the uh, electric scooter, mm -hmm. I was like scared to death to go full speed. Now I get on and I'm like full speed immediately every time, 100% of the time. Yeah. So, and I am conservatively 275 pounds. Going backward is weird though. Going backward is weird. It feels very You unnatural. have to really think about it. Yeah. And it's strange because like, it's like your brain is commanding where you're going, but it's as though my body hasn't moved hardly at all to yeah. command that control. Yeah. So once you've programmed yourself <laughs> to be non-human again, <laughs> then it works pretty good. Yeah. So these things are pretty fun. They're weird, but they're fun. Now I'm gonna go back to sweeping. Look how effective this is as a sweeping tool. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, that's cool. Okay, thanks for watching guys.